First, you have to recognize the three types of pieces on the Rubik's Cube. Centers have one color. So this is the white center, the red center, and the blue center. Edges have two colors. So here's the white-red edge, the white-blue edge, and the red-blue edge. Finally, corners have three colors. So this is the white, red, and blue corner, and this is the white, red, and green corner. The first step in solving the Rubik's Cube is to solve the four white edges, making a white cross on the top, where each edge piece is lined up with its center color. To do this, you must find a white edge. Let's use this white and green edge. Begin by moving it to the bottom so that white is facing down. One way to check this is that white will be next to yellow. A common mistake is that people will move the white edge to the bottom but white will be facing out. You want white to face down and you can check if it's next to yellow. The next step is to line up the other color on that edge with one of the centers. So the other color is green. So I want to move it around the bottom layer until I line it up with green. The final step is to spin it around twice so that it connects to the white side. To make the white cross, you want to do this with each of the four white edges. So here's another white edge. It's on the top but it's not in the right place because its other color is not lined up with the center. So, as stated earlier, the first step is to move it to the bottom. So white is next to yellow. The second step is to line it up with its center. There we go. It's lined up with red. And the third step is to twist it twice so that it is lined up with white. So, we've solved two edges, which means we have half the cross. Our next edge will be the white and orange edge. Now this edge is a little tricky, because while it's on the bottom already, white is not pointing down, it's not next to yellow. So, we do something which I call the 3D move. Begin by facing away from the white, and pulling up. Then you face the white, and push down. Now white is next to yellow. So that was the first step. The second step, line it up with its center. Now, before I twist this edge up to connect with white, I need to go back and check if I've broken any other edges. In other words, taken them out of place. Indeed I have. When I did the 3D move, I pushed the white red edge out of place. So all I have to do is just move it back up. Then I can go on and solve the white-orange edge. Let's say our last edge, the white-blue edge, is stuck in the middle layer between two other edges. What we do is move it down to the bottom layer, just like normal, so that white is next to yellow. Then we line it up with its color, blue. Before we solve it, we have to go back and fix the edge that we broke when we moved it out. So I'm going to fix and then solve my original edge. Let's say our last edge is in the right spot, but it's flipped wrong. What we have to do is a different version of the 3D move, where we go down both times. So, face away from the white, go down, face towards the white, go down. Then you line it up with its color. Now, before you solve, go back and see if you've broken anything. We've broken the white-orange edge, so fix that, then solve your last edge. In conclusion, there are three steps to solving the white edges. Step number one is to move the white edge down to the bottom so that it's next to yellow. Step number two is to line up the other color. Step number three is to solve the edge, but before you do that, go back and see if you've broken anything, and then fix it. Then you can do step number three, where you solve the edge. After solving the white cross, you go on to solve the four white corners. So these four pieces. Let's look for a white corner. Here's one. The first step is to look at the two non-white colors. So, 
we have green and red. The second step is to move it along the bottom layer until it is between green and red. Now it is below the place that it should be. The final step is something I call the scoop. Face the cube so that white is on the outside. And then you go down, scoop in, and then up. And that will move your corner to the correct place in three moves. Here's another example. We have the white, orange, and blue corner. So let's move it between the orange and blue centers. Face white so that it is pointing out, and then go down, scoop, and up. That will solve our corner. Here's another example. We have blue and red. So move it between the blue and red centers. Now, in this case, white is pointing down. So we have to do something a little different. We go down, double scoop. So we push it twice, and then we go back up. What this does is flips that corner so that when we move it back under the place where it needs to go, we can just do a normal scoop. So we face white so that it's pointing out, and then we go down, scoop, up. That will solve our corner. You may come across a case where the corner is in the right place, but it's flipped wrong. Just use the scoop to take it out. So face white so that it's pointing out, go down, scoop, up. Then you can move it back under, green and orange, green and orange, down, scoop, up. You may come across the case where all your corners are on the top, but some of them are in the wrong places. What you need to do is take out the wrong ones using the scoop. So, let's take out this one. So we're going to go down, scoop, and up. Now we need to make sure it's under the place where it needs to go, and it is because green and orange line up with green and orange. So we face white so that it's on the outside, and go down, scoop, up. So we have one corner left. It's on the bottom. It's in the right place because green lines up with green and red lines up with red. So we face white so that it's on the outside and go down, scoop, and up. So to recap, you find a white corner, look at the other two colors, which are green and red, move the corner along the bottom layer between the green and red centers. Now if white is facing left or right, you put white on the outside and go down, scoop in, up. If white's on the right, you put white on the right side and go down, scoop in, up. If white is on the bottom, you go down, double scoop, up. Then you move it back under and do the scoop again. Down, scoop, up.